I'm designed to generate responses to questions based on my understanding of natural language. You've probably used it. You've definitely heard of it. Chat GPT has been held as a game changer. It can write songs. Melissa's got a vision, a story she wants to tell. Define quantum mechanics, as well as explaining how I could boost my intelligence. Google has also released a competitor, Bard. Impressive, right? Computers seem to be rapidly outsmarting their creators. But is that really true? We have a lot of uh, very sophisticated algorithms, but basically what these algorithms are doing is getting a lot of information from the internet. So they're capable of, you know, addressing all kinds of situations, all kinds of questions. They're not very good in adapting. They're not very good in learning something in some scenario, in some environment, and then generalize it to a different environment. And this is something that children and infants are very good at. It's our adaptability that keeps us one step ahead of AI. From birth, our brain adapts and molds itself to the environment in a very efficient way. Uh, we're very, very far away from having computers that are very adaptable, I think. Maybe we'll figure it out how that happens, but the fact that these algorithms don't have usually don't have bodies and even if they have bodies they're robots the robots don't their body doesn't change their experiences are much less flexible there is a lot less variability compared to children and infants that need to adapt to different body every day <laughs> the truth is neuroscientists still don't know exactly how or why our brain is so good at adapting and until we know better how this process works, computers are not going to come anywhere close. And luckily, ChatGPT knows the limits of its own virtual mind. It cannot replicate the full range of human intelligence. 